Welcome to an extra special bonus episode of Let's Play Battlefield 1942. This is by so many different requests from people. I'm going to show off the submarine. Easiest way to get to it is on Guadalcanal where there's one sub. There's also one sub on Midway. And always hold down the E key when you're trying to spawn in on the sub. The sub is just one little spawn point dot in the water. If you don't hold down E, you may spawn there, and someone else will also spawn there and jump into the sub, so you'll be stranded. You uh, sink down like this by holding down the up arrow key. It's kind of like the landing craft up and down the reversed controls. You can see when you're under the water completely, it just shows the map. There's little meters to show you how far under the water you are. There's an oxygen limitation. And here we're at periscope depth, where you just have your periscope show a little bit above the water. And there go the torpedoes. And that recharges, you get an infinite number of torpedoes. This is kind of the sideshow of Guadalcanal. There's two destroyers on each side and a sub each. There's an enemy destroyer. And you've also got to, you've got to line up your target and you've got to kind of be at periscope depth. You can't go all the way under the water and expect to hit the ship with your torpedoes, I don't believe. And it uh, looks like the two friendly destroyers along with us are what really knocked them down. I'm not sure whether or not one of my torpedoes hit because there's no little uh, hit indicator on the crosshairs for this. One thing that the submarine's really missing, I think, is the radar. Even the destroyers have a little radar that indicates when there's ships around them so they can hunt the subs. And here's the other hostile destroyer. Let's see if we can... And there go my torpedoes. And they do seem to have hit, and the Gato is apparently the name of the submarine. That's the first time I've ever seen uh, an actual submarine get credit for a kill. I've seen them sink ships before, but I've uh, people can always jump out of a ship just in time. So that's the first time I've actually seen a submarine kill. So that was kind of a, a special thing there. You can play this game for years and you probably won't ever see another submarine kill. And unfortunately, they don't have a little cannon up here. I'd kind of like to see uh, a gun on top of the deck, but I'll just sink back underneath the water. One thing I do like about the periscope is you can look around back and forth really quickly, but you can't retract the periscope to hide yourself. We can't hold them. And I think I've beached myself here. Either that or there's a... I think there may be another ship or something, or maybe the coastline is closer than it appears. Alright, well I think I've... <laughs> yeah, I think me and that friendly destroyer are both suck, uh, stuck here. Yeah, that's... This is about all you're going to do, I think, with a submarine on Guadalcanal. Maybe a couple kills, sink a couple ships, but it really is just a sideshow that doesn't really have much to do with the flags. It's useful to have naval control so you can launch attacks against the village flag, but other than that, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Um, let's just watch this destroyer go down somehow. He may have been hit by the hostile sub that's somewhere in the area, but that's it, and that's your request. See you on the next episode.